student reconnaissance like you know if i do just say like you know hack this system or do the print testing of this particular system of this person so with just a name you won't be able to do it correct that we have already discussed with just a name we won't be able to do it so you can say with just a name in this big world you are here on this outer layer okay so with name it's just a big world to find that specific person or that specific system so what you do now you narrow it down okay you narrow it down a bit by getting more information about your target and you get more closer right like the target's place the country the city in which they are living the company they're working all that part and you can say finally after nine down the entire thing you close you know get more close to the target you get specific information about the target which will be you know helping you in giving the most crucial information of it you after narrowing down you you do what you reach out to the vital information like for example the ip of the system basically which you have to do the pen testing of or which you have to do the hacking of so in this way you narrow down the thing so we narrow down all the details to get the specific information which will help us to compromise the system or say help us to you know hack or do the pen testing of that so information they can be of any type like you know operating system details their internet protocol or the mac address employees their phone number email geolocation dns subdomain xyz okay so what we'll do we'll be doing in terms of passive way okay we'll be passively gathering information about things you know without directly interacting with them okay so in reconnaissance like you know when i talk about you know target the target could be possibly what they could be possibly be your person or your organization agree with that target they can possibly person organization okay so in person what can we feel like let's talk about a person okay when i see you have a passively you have to passively grab as many information about a person what would you do guys what will you do you mentioned social media over there isn't it can we include social media over here like social network you can hit different social media to gather more information about vine isn't it a very common thing can i write google can you see that google it so anyone you want to gather information about the very first thing you do is you hit google for it so your google you can say will give you you know lot of links with respect to your social network as well correct so you can hit different uh, social media where you can get the more information what else can you do if you want to find more information about the person have you guys heard about people search engine so we have like you know various websites uh, like where you can do actually what where you can actually go out and look for different people you can give their name and bring out details for you okay we'll look into one of them see if you will we'll look into uh, one of it and i will walk you through how else can you get the details of a particular person guys yeah so what i'm trying to say is uh, it's like a phone directory you can say you know or information directory for all the people they are almost obsolete they are almost obsolete though right but in case if you're lucky enough you get you know if and get your hands on it it will be pretty much useful for those who don't know have you guys seen that movie hera fairy there was this character with the name babu rao parish rao right in the very first movie he was like you know that's a popular scene it's pretty much out in the beam as well he is next to the phone and he used to check the directory over there while calling a person right so that directory i'm talking yes. about and that details they, you know the what company they do hold on their address phone number so the details are mentioned in that particular directory so that's your yellow pages i will mention this one as well 
job sites tell me how can your job site be very useful in order to gain information of a person job sites did you get a job by a resume maybe maybe not doesn't it now tell me one thing after getting a job or not like how many times have you brought down your resume of that particular website i guess no so now tell me how easy tell me one thing this like how easy is it for me to open up open an account on that job portal and i try to or you can say impersonate or trying to be an hr recruiter with a fake name and a fake account and fake email id so now will i be able to access your resume so is that acha it's pretty much feasible for me to access your resume over there right and you may might also apply for the job and i will get your resume and how many times the information in in your resume are correct almost all the time isn't it so what i'm trying to say i can get lots of information from it and as an attacker or as an as an e pent tester in terms of that uh, it is like a lottery to them correct it's like a lottery to them now if we talk about in terms of organizations right the same for an organization let's suppose in the info sector if you talk about gather information i can simply google it then again social network can i put company's website also right what else ever heard about who dot is and who dot is you can gather the uh, information respect to the domain name actually we do have netcraft also heard about it no then again yellow pages can be included right ever heard about website mirroring in website mirroring we have a tool with the name ht track ever heard ht track is there it can literally you do what it can literally mirror the whole uh, company website in your machine and you can browse whatever you want to browse on your machine you do not have to go back into the website and create your logs over there basically okay so website mirroring is one of the tools i mentioned google map as well the reason being first thing it can give you the physical what location of your you can say office second thing is now google map comes with the distinctive feature which gives you the street view over there so what you can do you can literally get the street view of that particular organization and in good cases what it does it even walks you into the front door of the organization so you know i was also simply playing on playing around with it and i saw what i saw a coffee shop near me i dropped that street view over there on that cafe and what i found i was able to see the 360 degree view of that cafe and i was able to know where all the cameras are placed so consider it if it was an organization no would it be helpful for you to know all the location of the cameras right so you know if you know all the location of the camera which are outside you know you can strategize your attack in that way you can uh, you can strategize your intrusion in that way you know you will try to figure out which are, which are the hidden spots so right now this is a phase we are not like you know doing any kind of a attack or any intrusion we are just gathering information so that you can you know create or strategize accordingly right we have very small things like you know we have a uh, showdown as well so you know if that organization or, may, uh, or any server of organization is stated in showdown it means they have some associated vulnerabilities with them uh i can also include job portals again over here or job openings can you tell me how job openings will be helping us to gather information about an organization if there is a job opening from for sec train like for example they are you know giving a job opening that we require a uh, 3 years or 4 years experience php developer who has a good hands on experience in apache version 5.6.1 right and who has a pretty good hands on experience in your mvc format model view controller or like who can work in your well, like if i but they are also listed that we are you know, the one who is having experience in mysql server 
version this 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 and all that part so do you think organization is revealing a lot of crucial information over there which might help attackers to do some attack or to strategize according to it isn't it yes no because if i got to know if being an attacker if i got to know that infosec train is using code igniter or they are using apache version this 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 5.6.1 for example so i can do what i will be specializing my attack on the basis of that particular version right rather than guessing around and trying each and everything make sense 